Welcome back to the channel. This is going to be a quick how-to on how to repair your Minkota Ultrax trolling motor momentary switch should you ever have a problem with your trolling motor not turning on or when you deploy it if it won't shut off. This is a common problem with the Minkota Ultrax trolling motor. It's happened to me several times on the water. As you can see in this video about me, it just happened a couple of weeks ago when my son and I were down at Lake of the Ozarks. He deployed the trolling motor after we launched the boat off the trailer. The trolling motor wasn't working. Luckily, he knew how to fire up the big motor and drive over to the courtesy dock and pick me up. So the fix is pretty simple. It only takes a couple of minutes, but it could save your day on the water if you know what to do. So underneath your foot pedal here, down this side, there's gonna be a little clip, and I'll show you what that looks like when I pop this out. So this is the clip right there. You'll fill that underneath. You just pull that clip in and push up, and this will pop out. So keep note of this spring right here because it's gonna go back in the same position. It actually, on this side, the little, if you can see that, right there is where that spring goes over. We're gonna put that off to the side. So this is the little piece right here that when you press your foot pedal down, engages your momentary switch. So that switch itself, I'm gonna pop it out so we can get a better view of it here. So as you see inside there, you'll see the little magnetic piece sticking up. What happens is sometimes that piece will get pushed down and be recessed or just flush. And then this guy won't make contact or sometimes it'll get pushed up too much. And then this piece right here makes constant contact so your trolling motor won't shut off or you'll have to double tap the switch to get to shut off. So the easiest fix, depending on whether you need to push it down or bring it up, is just put something that's kind of blunt right underneath here, just catching the edge of it right there and then you can push up on it. Just make sure you get a couple of wires here. You don't push in too far and damage those wires. So if you're not making contact and it won't turn on, push up on this and you'll see this, it'll actually slide right here in this little cylinder. And that piece will either come up or you could take a screwdriver or whatever and you could push that thing down if your trolling motor's always staying on. Put it back together. You pop. And to pop this switch in, you'll start with this side first, right down there. There's a groove for it. Then you're going to pop that in. Hey, thanks for watching. Hopefully, you don't encounter this problem when you're out there fishing and using your Ultrax trolling motor. But if you do, I hope this video is helpful for someone out there so this problem doesn't ruin your day of fishing on the water. Thanks for watching.